one area in our industry where there's a lot of healthy debate is on the subject of bandsaw blade wheels, the wheels on which your blade actually runs. At Timber King, actually, we have a unique take on this debate because we've done both kinds over the years. We've had solid steel wheels and we've had wheels that have a rubber insert on it. So actually, we have a pretty good perspective on the advantages and disadvantages um, of both styles of doing it. I want to talk about that and I want to tell you why we've chosen to go with the rubber insert wheel and why we think it's the best design um, for a band blade wheel. A solid steel wheel, I mean, first of all, that just sounds good, right? I mean, solid steel wheel, that sounds great. And the advantage of a solid steel wheel with a, you know, a crown solid steel wheel is that that steel is hard and it's not going to wear as fast but it does wear. And that's the concern because while it wears more slowly, when a solid steel wheel, when you lose that crown on a solid steel wheel, um, you've got a big job on your hands. What you've got to do is you have to have that wheel remachined. Okay, well there's two issues with that. Number one, you're going to have to pull the wheel off of the machine, off of your sawmill, which means you're going to be shut down for an extended period of time. Number two, you're gonna to have to find somebody to do that machining. And, and to have somebody machine a, a crown and a large wheel like this, not every machine shop can do that. So the advantage of the solid steel wheel is that it, it you know, if you're cutting a lot, you might have to have that done after maybe two years. You're gonna to have to have that big job done. Um, so it, it, it lasts longer, and that's the good thing. The, the disadvantage is that when you have to have the job done, it's gonna shut your mill down for a long time um, and it's going to be expensive. Belted blade wheels, different story. The belted blade wheels, you have a rubber belt here that cushions the blade, and it's also self-adjusting. With steel wheels, you know, those wheels have to be exactly in alignment. A belted wheel is actually sort of self-aligning. It's got enough play in it um, that it, that it self-aligns, but it's rigid enough. I mean, you, this belt is backed up on, on all sides by steel, so it's quite rigid. It's not going to give you a, a, any sense of non-rigidity in your cut. And of course, you also have steel wheels here to, uh, to give your cut that rigidity and that beam strength that you need. Um, but now, the belts, obviously the rubber belts, are going to wear faster than steel. So what you're going to have to do, if you're using your mill heavy, maybe once, twice a year, you're going to have to change these belts out. Now, that's maintenance more often than you would have to do with a solid steel wheel. But it's simpler maintenance, and it's going to shut you down for a much shorter period of time. It's going to shut you down for maybe an hour, maybe two hours doing that job versus with steel wheels where, yes, you're not going to do it as often, but when you do it, you're going to be completely shut down, um, and you're going to have a major bill on your hands versus just throwing in a $20 belt. So over the years, as we've, as, as we've run both kinds of machines, we used to have a solid steel wheel, and we went to rubber. We, we, we understand the arguments for both, but we feel like in sum, when you take everything into account, the best way to go is this rubber wheel. Another important thing about the rubber wheel, and you'll see this in independent, there's actually blade manufacturers who don't have a dog in the sawmill fight. They're not selling sawmills who recommend the rubber wheel because what the rubber wheel allows actually is that blade to flatten out over um, the wheel and, and be quite rigid. You'll notice that some of the companies that make a crown solid steel wheel, they actually sell a machine to flatten blades back out again because what happens on that crown wheel is the blades themselves cup. Um, and then when you sharpen them, you have to uncup them. That's not an issue with a, with a, a mill with a, a belted wheel. The other problem with a, when, you're, when your blade is cupping, well, what does that blade want to do when it gets in the wood? It, it's, like a, it's like the rudder on a, on a boat. It wants, to, it wants to wave. It wants to do this because it's cupping on that solid steel wheel. So again, if somebody tells you solid steel wheels are better, they're not lying to you. It's, it's a legitimate difference of opinion within the industry. But what I can say straightforwardly is we have done it both ways. We have sold mills proudly with solid steel wheels. So I can't tell you that somebody who sells a mill with a solid steel wheel is not a good guy or doesn't know what they're talking about. Um, but I can tell you that when we started putting rubber wheels on there, um, the, the mills became much more user-friendly. Um, the, 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 the 
customers were happier with the mills. They were able, they didn't have as much downtime, and when they did have the downtime to make the changes, it wasn't long downtime. It didn't involve an expensive trip to the machine shop. What does that mean? It means that they have kept their blade in the wood more, and that is why you have a sawmill, and that is the Timmer King advantage.